What are we going to call this thing? Because the closest name we've gotten so far was anal eyesores. Anal eyesores. And the other one you came up with was real Real, like film real? Real If there's three guys on a couch and the show starts with the word anal. Anal. Analyze. Analyze. Analyze ears. Shut up. Can you imagine the commercial, like the, like the intro that we would try to sell for, for, for this? Three guys on a couch. We sit there and we watch a movie. Anal eyes! We sit on a couch together and we get f***ed up. Anal eyes! I think I'm going to call this What about blood, guts, and booze? Ooh, that's pretty good. Blood, guts, and booze? Yeah. I'm trying to think of horror, plus the booze, blood, guts, and booze. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I just came up with that in two seconds. I think it's great. And even, you could even f*** with it if we're watching a movie that is, like, overrun with tits. You can have blood, guts, and booze. <laughs> Boob. Boobs. <laughs> I like it. Blood, guts, and booze. Really blood, guts, and booze. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I have a question. Yeah? Are we allowed to cry? Yes. Like, that's that's just been a burning question. Oh, that's been just it's been up. aching in my black heart for Can days. Can I cry? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Aaron. Yeah, well, that's what you get. Yuck. Ladies first. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Drink up. Blood, guts, and booze. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Do we also have to raise a toast to Ash versus the Evil Dead because unfortunately it was canceled today? This is Dash. 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 Groovy. 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 Okay, so today I chose a fun film, part two of a trilogy that is horribly underrated. Feast two sloppy seconds. All right. Have you seen Feast two? Yeah. Of course. I've had sloppy seconds. <laughs> you probably had sloppy thirds and fourths as well. <laughs> well, you just told me you, you shaved your face into that PT. And what what does PT stand for, Darren? Um. Now the PT. I suppose you think that's pretty tough, but no, that's perfect, perfect PT. PT. Very good. Feast two. Jeez. Sloppy seconds. It was released in two thousand eight. Uh, the director John Gulliger won Project Greenlight. <laughs> Project Greenlight is an internet contest. We pick a script, we pick a director, we let somebody get a chance to make their movie. It was produced by Wes Craven, Matt Damon, Ben Affleck. Now, John Gulliger is the son of Clue. Clue. Clue Gulliger, which you may know from Return of Let Me Dead, I'm going to pick out as the best. Oh, shit! Shit! John Gulliger directed. Clue Gulliger is in this film. John's brother, Tom Gulliger, is in this film. John's wife, Diane Goldner, is in this film. And there's even an appearance by little baby Clue Masha Gulliger. This film was made with a budget of $2 million. It went straight to video. And it was released by Dimension Extreme. Oh, yes. Dimension Extreme. Woo! No, no, no. 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 Let, me, let me fill you on Dimension Extreme. It started with Disney. Went to Miramax. And Miramax to Dimension. Dimension owns the Halloween franchise. They own the Hellraiser franchise. They own the Children of the Corn franchise. Then they opened up a subsidiary company, Dimension Extreme, for... Extreme films. A lot of really good movies from abroad that they brought over and they went straight to video. If I was telling this story about five years ago, this is where the story would end. But unfortunately, Dimension is owned by the Weinsteins. And we all know how that turned Ooh. out. Yeah. Hashtag. So Dimension is no more. Dimension Extreme is no more. There won't be a Feast 15. Sorry, guys. Unfortunately. There, Which there it should. I mean, this is one of my favorite horror franchises of all time. I love it. Doesn't use the car crash from Highwaymen this time. <laughs> you notice that, eh? Yuck. I'm built to last. I'll die when I damn well please. I don't know. She's sexy and dirty with a cause, you know? She's hard and wet and sloppy and fast and tight. You know? Hard, wet, and sloppy. Yeah. And tight. I love it. That's how, when you're excited about a, a woman you're attracted to, your description is, she's hard, 
wet, wet and sloppy, sloppy and tight. The other chicks, I believe, are suicide girls that they used in this movie. Really? Ooh. The red hair. Okay, I just love this movie because it does everything that would possibly piss off a large audience. <laughs> Oh, you got a little fun. A monster pumping a bra in the mouth. Jasm. Look at the size of the fake they put on this little person. I think are funny while they run, and if they're naked, they're even funnier. That's little people, mother. You didn't laugh at that guy's ass cheeks bouncing. Do you, oh, you were too busy looking at his gigantic. I was trying to look for the. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Who was I? They <laughs> look like a big hot dog. They, they all the say that b****s have huge hammers. Come on, really? That's like kind of like the mythology, yeah. Like, no. Come on. Yes. It's impossible. Dude, what do you mean that's impossible? Ever watch Austin Powers? That's the joke. My word. You're a tripod. <laughs> it's like a baby's arm holding an apple. Because his d*** is so huge. Have you watched it like a porn? No, I've never watched it. I watched, I watched like... Porn. Yeah, I would love to... <laughs> wow, that's bad. Even for this group. My would look huge in the hands of a <laughs> It'd be like... It'd be amazing. It'd be like... I've never wanted a I want a Really? In fact, I tried. Yeah, it was a mannequin that you tried carving a hole in its ass. Yep. Like a hard... Like old 1980s store mannequin. But I put materials inside of the cravat. What? Roast beef ham? <laughs> no, like, <laughs> plas like plastics and bubble wrap. Oh, yeah, that simulates it to a T. Yeah, and a little aloe, a little aloe vera. Did it work? It worked pretty good. Come on. It was good. Did you f it? I f it. <laughs> Come on, you did not. You didn't f the mannequin. Well, I sure shit seen everything now. All of this is made up. It's just. A figment. You just talked about it at length in description. Yeah, I dream about it like all the time. <laughs> hey, hey! You folks remember, I fing slash prices, remember that! So another great thing about this movie is how they introduce these characters. They introduce them, they show a little piece of their character and their backstory, and then we go right into the movie. I love this intro for this guy. Doesn't he do one of these? Yes, yes. I'm so bad, you know it's good. Suck a dick, everyone. I slash prices. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Look, he takes a piss, goes to wash his hands, doesn't even put it under the water. Oh, nope, good enough. <laughs> you know what? When I see somebody walk out of a stall and they take a shit, and they don't even wash their hands? Yeah. I look at them and say, God darn it, like, what the f***? It makes me sick! Well, when you really think about it, you're washing your hands after you go to the washroom for everyone else you touch. It's not for you. You're wiping your asshole, well, yeah, what and you sometimes your eyes, you get your shit eye. on your Turn floor up. thumb. Turn up. Well, when guys go in and take a piss, and they, they wash their hands, which I do, we all do, but if you didn't, it's your own if you can't even touch your own without dying or something, you got a problem with your man. You really do. I agree with you there. Uh, taking a piss. Yeah, piss not, is fine. But taking a shit. But taking a yeah, shit. I agree. You there. wipe your hands. <laughs> Why are you getting mad? I at get me? so upset. Yeah, you're getting mad at me. Yeah, I'm like, getting mad at everyone. Like off, dude. With Neglect. Your... You're gonna cry? That wall's coming down. That wall's coming down. It's made out of pigeon shit. Just a set wall that falls down. The whole wall of the building just falls down. It's easily forgivable in this movie because it's so over the top and fun. I hate CGI blood though. It's bad. CGI guy blood CGI. is so bad. Yeah. Like it would really cost you that much money to make a five gallon vat of fake blood and spray it. Oh, Do you oh, notice yeah. what the biker gang's name is? They're all women. And they're called the Bleeders? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Getting your f***ing revenge shit. Go get us all done in. 
So far, the bartender, this whole thing has been telling this girl, listen, give up this revenge bullshit. It's not gonna get you anywhere. I was a Marine in the Second World War, okay? And I got over the guys. Door, please. Crouch the door. And I got over the goddamn Japs. So you get that stick out of your ass and get over this vendetta bullshit of yours. And then he comes across Honey Pie from the first one. People think I'm just a dumb blonde. So she hopped in the truck and she off and left them all to die. <laughs> and when he sees her, oh crap! He beats the oh, shit out of her. <laughs> you chicken shit! No! 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 There's actual piece of shit floating in the toilet. Is that real shit? I I don't know. <laughs> like, it, and I think he pulls a Mike Tyson and bite part of her ear off. Yeah. Oh my Jesus. Jesus. You all killed that monster? Hell yeah. How'd you do that? We got lucky. Punctured his butthole. It's like what Darren did to that mannequin. Well, I didn't do it in the butthole. It was like. You drilled the fing hole in the mannequin to fk it. Yeah, I fk it. And times were that bad, Darren. I just got tired of the complaining and the whining. So you didn't go out and buy like a pocket or a flashlight? You tried to fashion your own out of a hard ass mannequin and filled it with bubble wrap. Yeah? What's wrong with that? You're wrong! It's a simple confession of a deluded mind. Of a deluded mind? Completely deluded. Like, there's you... nothing left in here but sadness. Like, I tried. People are <laughs> I'm sick and tired of it. I can't wait to... be abducted by an alien. Because I'm tired of people. Humans are stupid. You know what he told me outside? People are stupid. What? Welfare. There needs to be another bubonic plague. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what I want. And I'm like, you know you'd be dead, right? Like, it's, it doesn't discriminate. All the degenerates that you want it to take out, they're cockroaches, man. They're going to last. They're going to last past the nuclear war. Okay. They'll be riding their e-bikes into the sunset, going so to the beer store. There's no lineup anymore, bud. How does dissecting it make any sense? Hey, don't worry about it, babe. I'm pretty sure it does. Never seen these things. I mean, it's disgusting. You are a um, pathological liar. <clears throat> no, I have a path. It sometimes doesn't lead me to the right place, but I go down it. Questions are answered. So this scene here is this is reminiscent of the thing, and the thing, yes, where they say we have to dissect this and figure it out. God. Where the thing is very serious, is very tense film. Where this just it takes it really over the top. <laughs> now what's coming out of that? Yeah, like what is that? Is it? Is it that is a lot of shit after you're dead. I know. Too much. Jasm. I'm so sorry. I thought this was really interesting Ooh. how they got the beer guy from the, first, the first one back. One. Judah Friedlander? Yeah. He's actually pretty funny, man. He is. He's got a stand up on Netflix right now, yeah. too. I loved his character in the first one. You know, it's great. You could tell they're. He's probably a funny dude. Because there's a scene where they're making out, and then all of a sudden there's a shot where he's rubbing like cupcakes on his nipples or something like that. Out of nowhere. Is Darren getting ready to have sex with his mannequin? Yeah. This is a Darren <laughs> scene right here. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. I'm going to okay. find a mermaid and it. So is, is that the name we're officially going with? What? Blood, Guts, and Booze? Yes. It's pretty good. How about blood, guts, booze, and mannequins' butts? <laughs> it's too personal. <laughs> you know, any movie where somebody tries to do something good 
and fails miserably, this film tops it. You tell me any movie out there where someone tries to be a hero and fails miserably, this is it. This this is the epitome of that. <laughs> Dude, I love this part. That's good. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Even the subtitle says baby splats. <laughs> Where did these monsters come from? You never know, and that's fine. Where did the zombies come from in all the George Romero films? They never explain it. This thing is gonna catapult one of these little guys all the way over there. That's right, and then we'll be safe till the cavalry comes. Nah, f that, I ain't doing that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We just threw a woman off the ledge. These bitches are standing here butt naked because we used their clothes to make this shit. Not to mention I just watched the baby get eaten alive and you standing here telling me that you're not even willing to get a shit a try look at them titties those are suicide girls all them tats are real that d on that guy's arm is real hey 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 i ain't f***ing dead and don't touch the d i like girls like that that's my problem what covered in blood yeah you're f i'm drawn to them what I, th I find that attractive okay, let me ask you a question how many girls do you meet? And where do you meet them? They're dressed in their underwear and covered in blood. Are they are they walking over and they come in to get some pictures developed? And they're like, can I get these pictures developed? Don't mind me. I'm covered in blood and in my underwear. And you're like, can I get your number? I like the fact that the, the green screen is behind the set on the roof. Yeah. I think it looks cool. It, it looks does. very f***ing army of darkness. Yeah. I love how these suicide girls are just... You know they're suicide girls because they've spent half the movie topless and they don't even give a f Should we turn this off? I love that this is how this movie ends. It seems like no hope. Two. Feast 2 is over the top. It's it's a fun movie. Uh, I love the first one. Second one's fun. Lots of lots of gore. On a horror movie scale, for the shit that I kind of like, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. I think in the scheme of things, I think it's a, a 7.3. Yeah? Yeah. I would give it an 8. I love this series. I love this movie. This film has a lot of balls to do what it does because they must know when they're making it, it's not going to be big. Because it's not for everybody. That's the, that's the that's beauty, beauty of, it. of it. That's the beauty yeah. of it. They, they, they push boundaries. It's just such a great rebel way of filmmaking. I agree. I love it. If you haven't seen this trilogy, you need to check it out. The Feast trilogy. It's fun. It is fun. There you go. What's the name of this show again? Huh. I'm so bad you know it's good. Suck it, everybody. <laughs> Slash prices. <laughs> Blood, guts, and booze. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching Blood, Guts, and Booze. Make sure you subscribe. Leave us a comment. Tell us what movie you want us to watch. And in the end, we'll take it into consideration. We might not watch any of the shit you guys want. Thanks for watching. Cheers. 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 Cheers.